right, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we got the Calmero trailer in the Duramax behind me. We're up here at J&J Fab. We got the salty chicken. You can see the ass end of the salty chicken right there. That's gonna be that's gonna be a very, very popular view for a lot of people in the near future. But what we got going on today is I rock my TRZ Motorsports shirt. Um, I got one of their anti-roll bars here. This was a missing link that we had for the car. And uh, we're gonna get this put on the car today. Not too much work, it's a Sunday, we're gonna chill a little bit. Get this factory 10 bolt with torque arm and flat tires out of here. That's why I got the trailer, I had it behind me. So we're gonna throw it in there, bring that home, get that out of here so they have some room. And uh, we're gonna install this, not completely install it because there's some welding required, but I'm gonna talk about this here for a second. So what this is, right here is the anti-roll. What this does, it, you can make adjustments to it. You've heard me talk about it on the Calmero has a similar one and what this does this allows you to make adjustments to how the car drives you can set up so if your car is driving a little bit left you can make an adjustment there are heim joints that go on each end you make an adjustment and that that you know changes the way the rear end reacts as it gets under a load and you can get to either drive left or drive right or drive straight and make adjustments so you can chip away at it this is how you're going to steer a car if it's up in the air if the front tires are up in the air you have no steering capabilities so it's pulling a wheelie you can mess with this to get to drive straighter so you'll see some cars go down track and they're like they'll, they'll like the cow if you notice the last few videos it'll, it'll leave and kind of leave to the left and I'd be fighting it trying to pull the wheel back and get to drive to the right well we made an anti roll bar adjustment to that so hopefully that's fixed but did not have one on the car before and what this replaces <laughs> is now the TRZ kit comes with two different pieces. Um, it comes with the lower panhar bar and then the upper panhar bar is what the anti-roll is attached to. So this one, we already removed, the, on this car we already removed the factory upper panhar bar. So we're gonna get this thing bolted up and then the, the final part that's gonna get done to it is where it has to get welded to the rear end. Uh, we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna wait till everything else has to get welded on there. But this kit is, I'd say, ideal for it because it's already attached to the anti-roll bar. I don't have to weld to the body I don't have to weld I only have to weld to the rear end um, so we're gonna get this sucker uh, put on underneath oh god yeah, that's a good looking hat dude like that. that's a good looking hat LS nasty. Well, let me stand up here oh god I'm, I'm like a fat, I thought you were standing there. I'm like a fat person now. oh god that's cold so I'll throw some clips in I got some video from you yesterday so today is Sunday Saturday was the mad mule finale yeah. and you were out there busting ass we did rain good You went 68 yep. twice? 69, 68, yeah. Very nice, and you went to the finals against Jim Halsey, and, and what, I got the video, we'll show the clip. Walk them through, you know, what it's like driving a pro mod out there in the finals. So, he had been 65, and we had just went 68, so we had to step it up a little bit. You know, we put a little little more nitrous, gets out there, rattles the tires as soon as it leaves, and then everything comes on at once. It will stands just. So when you say everyone comes on, everything comes on at once, you mean, so all you had more nitrous coming all in? All six nitrous kits. And the lockup was. And the lockup and everything comes on, wheel stands super high. Uh, get Chatters the tires on the wheel stand, brakes are in, falls down, coast through, still go 200 coasting, so. Uh, it was on a good run, record run, but Jim put down a good run. I put the gap on him. Oh, I like that. Yeah. But listen, if you had a strange engineering S60 rear end, you know, you might have went like 208. Just, I'm just, I'm just yeah. saying. I agree, I agree, you know. <laughs> Fab 9 just doesn't do, do the job. <laughs> well, congratulations to you. You've been whooping ass lately. We were talking last time video, you won the championship. Came out runner-up in the uh, Mad Mule yep. season finale. So that's pretty awesome. And then on to next year. So no... No pro mod racing for now, just money shotting, money shooting, I should yeah, say. Let me shoot. A few moments later. This badass anti roll TRZ. bar. Yeah, their their stuff's hot. Who inter I introduced you to TRZ? You told me about TRZ. I hit up Todd from TRZ. Absolute awesome guy and the awesome shop. He has been very helpful with. And you know, I told him I said, man, I gotta stop messing around the website. I'm gonna spend way too much money here. And he's like, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We do a lot of TRZ stuff. We've done a lot of their front end stuff mm -hmm. for uh, like 68s and. 
69 Camaras and a lot of Nova stuff, and they, they do some awesome. Yeah, so, well, I emailed him. I said, hey, man, I need an anti-roll bar for my, uh, for my F body, and he sent me this, which we were talking last time. I wanted to get something to replace that upper panhar bar. This does it, and it's got a beefy anti-roll on there. So it's literally everything I'm looking for at one, and and you might be looking for one now too, huh? I, you know, because you run a you run a a, a sway bar, like a sway a, bar with the in link kind of deal, and, and it works good until you really start applying power. And I've had it push me left and right before, so. And this, so I was telling the people a little bit. I'm not an expert on on anti roll, or you guys call it something different. Yeah, the roll controller. Roll control, yeah. yeah, so this you can steer the car with the ass. Yeah, essentially. yeah, which we can do is we can put preload in and out with this, and we can add weight to a different tire or to the left front. And what it'll do is keep you straighter on you know on a wheel stand or mm -hmm. on a launch pass. But so when you're this is basically what we run in a pro mod, just a longer version, a little smaller. I mean, we run something you know about two inches, but. Yeah. But first, the street car, and, and I asked him. I said he's been fast. They've been like, oh yeah, like three something with this, this with this yeah. exact. Tip. So I mean, that will do everything I'm looking for, and it's simple. A couple of bolts throw it in there. I said Jamie will probably like me because he doesn't do all this welding to it. And I told him about the tab. So this is a lower control arm mount. We already have some BMR mounts on there. Those are just backups in case we need to go lower. But I think we're gonna save Jamie a little bit of a little bit of headache. Yeah, because that Dana 60 looks really good, nice and pretty and powder coated. So it does. We don't, don't want to go to cutting on it quite yet. But this is a good option if we need to make a small adjustment or something depends mm -hmm. on what happens. But one baby steps at a time. Yeah. Keep going slower and slower. Oh my God, dude. You know what? After your burnout, that was very unsafe on the highway. Oh God. <laughs> it was not on the highway. It was in Mexico. Remember? God dang. <laughs> we live in Mexico. We're on the border. Oh, is that what it we is? We jumped the wall. And is that what it is? Well, I told people, I'm going to get the... Uh, Jamie, you want this 10-bolt? I'll give it to you. No. Are you sure? Useful. All right. All right I'll, get, I'll get rid of it for you. Good work, John. I know. You know how you are. I know. I'm going to load this up and put the camera down after do some work. <laughs> So here are the Heim joints. These get welded to the rear end, and this is what you make the adjustments to that you can allow you to put preload on the anti-roll bar and everything like that. So we're gonna get that thrown in. We got Ben here rocking the LS Nasty hat. Description down below, get all your LS Nasty merch. We also have a new LS Nasty shirt. The first LS Nasty shirt is out. Be sure to go down, first link in the description, and get it there, because you gotta stay toned. It's an LS Nasty slash stay toned shirt. And um, yeah, all right, let's knock it out. All right, so we got the anti-roll bar kind of mocked up in here. Now what it does, it relocates the panhard bar behind it. So what we need to do is we need to drill this hole out a little bit bigger and uh, drill one of the holes up there a little bit bigger. And then it has a washer. This washer goes in here and spaces it out. It goes directly behind it. Everything should work nicely there. Go get uh, go get your four and a half. What four and a half? Your, four and a, your billet specimens. Go get one of them. No. Just go get one of them. Come on, You're Captain Godzilla. Uh-uh. That won't fit on here. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, I need a five and a half. You want that thing to be pretty square Listen, it's on the ground, right? You'll yeah, probably... You gotta look at it, though, when it goes up. Or if it separates. Look at my son. Yeah. You video that. That right there is country living. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in! <laughs> 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 Alright, out of control. You gotta go when you gotta go. Now, you'll probably like it with the four and a half on there because it'll stick out real far like a redneck. It'll be funny. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta put some fender flyers. No, no, I'm gonna put five and a half. But I need to see what a four and a half go looks like. Go get them, Jen. Go get one. Oh, you got a tire on it? No, I ain't got no tire on it. That's a lie. Look at them. I don't. It's just a wheel. Well, that's fine. I'll set that wheel right on this concrete. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Go get your damn. I do. You jack wagon. Go get yours. You got one in here. I don't. You got one of your front ones. Y'all fight you like that. You got a front one. <laughs> but look at that man walk away with that good looking shirt on, though. 
like radial cars, the problem when we were having with Pomon cars is it extends. So as it, it extends down, because mm -hmm. you want separation. Well, when you, when everybody was doing pro mod cars, you know we have short ones like this. Yeah. Well, when you get extension on those things, they were locking out. So you got no shot there. Yeah, no, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, and it would lock out and wreck your ass. And li would that limit the travel of the rear then? Oh yeah, the rear end would just go solid and lock out. Mm -hmm. Keith Hanger hits twice because of it. You're saying on this, you need to get the rear end in the position, like ride height position, yes, right, and yeah. then weld the tabs yeah. on there. Yes. So here's kind of how the panhard bar works through that. All right, so Jamie brought his billet specialty over here. A little wide. You brought the wrong size, dude. What no, you, I what brought the right size. You need dirty. 12 wide? Oh, it's been sitting in the barn. What do you got on Godzilla? You got 10 wides on Godzilla? Yeah. All For right. you, that's all I need. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> now, this is not going to fit. It's going to hit everything in the back. Lower control arm tagged. <laughs> Straight into the lower control arm. No. No. Not even hitting it. Fits. I told you I put fender flares. <laughs> <laughs> is that no wait 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 so hold on let me just think you put 315 on now wait a 12 wide yeah. with five and a half backspace is going to sit different isn't it well a 10 wide i would need i would need i would need seven and a half backspacing yeah like a standard F body. yeah them. and but then it'd be all the way in you don't want 12 uh, wide no so this is this is i mean this is some redneck fitment right here no, that is actual race stuff <laughs> i can't even deal with it i'll be honest with you dude he don't stick out no further than mine dude all right guys so i'll give you a quick look at what's going on here with the trz stuff running the trz pan harbor because they have different heim joints that go with the different size bolts as you can see from the previous one pan harbor used to sit right, under, right underneath the anti-roll bar now it has moved back to the outside the reason why we don't have it all finished up and buttoned up is we need a 5 8 drill bit that's long enough to reach in here widen this hole we don't have that with us here so next time we come we're going to drill that out but as you can see, everything it sets up super nice. Once we get the car on the ground with proper ride height, we'll be able to weld these uh, the tabs on for the actual anti-roll so it can do its job. But the overall install, Ben, how easy is the install? Uh, it took like five minutes. Yeah, literally five minutes. We were just missing a drill bit, which is why it's not done. But other than that, it's super, super easy, super clean, and it looks awesome. And I really do think it's going to work amazing. I'm super happy with it. We have a... Uh, we got another car that uh, is in need of an anti-roll bar, so there's a good chance I'll be running that on the Boosted Rooster as well. So, guys, be sure to check out TRZ Motorsports. They are, their stuff, I'm in love with it. Jason said he wants one now. I'm probably gonna get one for the other car and we're gonna rock it on this car, so we're gonna have all you know proper anti-roll bars on everything. Um, I do wanna give you guys a big thank you for watching this video. Um, hope it was informative. I uh, hope some of you F-Body guys out there is helping you out a little bit because we're going from completely stock to race car and we're covering all of it. I'm having a blast doing it. Ben has been a huge help. Ben, thank you as always. Oh, and before we go, we gotta talk with Jason here. So I'm not gonna film the outro right now because we're gonna do a giveaway for the LS Nasty slash John Doc channel. All right, so we're gonna do a little giveaway here. Jason's rocking the LS Nasty hat. Ben's rocking the LS Nasty hat. If you go follow LS Nasty on Instagram, I'm gonna pick, we're gonna start off. I got a whole box of stuff to give away, but right now Jason's gonna sign a broken piston and connecting rod and then a piston and a connecting rod. These come out of your Pro Mod. Obviously they've gone fast. What is this? This is out of a 900 plus cubic inch engine. 959. So that's, that's a badass piston and you're gonna sign it and we'll give it away. All you guys gotta do to enter is go down and follow LS Nasty, like some posts, comments on some stuff and you can win this along with a hat I'll give away three hats as well so you got a chance to win it all just go follow LS Nasty thanks for repping LS Nasty we're gonna see an LS Nasty like sticker LS on the pro mod next LS, year I'm LS faithful I like that LS swap the world look at that that's just the pro nitrous champion 2018 <laughs> you just love hearing that don't you I do I do I like that makes me feel almost as important as the Calmera <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, everyone check out Jason. I'll link your Instagram here as always, and J&J &J Fab for all your fab needs. Thanks for letting me come down here on Sunday and and um, do a little work. Thanks again, John. So I appreciate I appreciate, I appreciate everything. So Support you give us. Yeah. LS Nasty. LS Nasty <laughs> to the front. We're going to get Jamie. Jamie, has, he's like, what's an LS? <laughs> we need to get, like, carbureted nasty. Yeah, carbureted. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, we're going to get out of your hair. Um, I guess possibly this week we'll be doing some mini tubs. I was talking to, to Jamie. After that, we're going to take this thing back and lighten it up and then get it ready for a cage. So, again, thank you for everything. No problem. And we'll see you soon. Yeah, man.